Hi all, hello, hello and welcome to the next video. This is going to be a Python video and we are going to be looking at a DC motor and how to control it um, with a potentiometer. So, DC motors, um, let me just uh, come to this view. PC motors. Um, where's my pen gone? There it is. Right. I know how much you enjoy my my drawing. <laughs> okay. So let me just uh, change views. Right. DC motor. It has two states. Okay. This is a DC motor. At the bottom are the pins for now we're going to call them a and b right now when we connect it up and depending which way the potentiometer is turned if it's turned clockwise this becomes plus, this becomes minus. Now, if we then turn the potentiometer anti clockwise, I know you love my drawing, this becomes plus and this becomes minus so basically um, a potentiometer uh, sorry a DC motor is a, a device that converts electric energy into electric energy into mechanical energy all right so what we're going to do let's just um, now have a look at a DC motor and we'll connect it up okay so let's go to my overhead view and I'll just show you what I'm on about so this is DC motor hopefully you can see it as you can see it has two two connectors uh, which will plug in to the motor here okay the motor here so what we do we uh, we just make sure I got my drawing correct We'll keep it like that so you can see it so i want a green wire it will go on to this side as you can see and the green wire will go into the far pin on the motor all right then we take a yellow cable to the other side Notice I'm not using red and black on this because um, there's no live, there's no uh, ground. And we go to the pin closest to us. Okay. Let me just sort my life out. Now what I'm going to do for this demonstration, I'm going to just connect this fan okay just so when we get things going that we can uh, i can hold it and you can see it going from left to right right to left now on this occasion the motor needs more than five volts it needs nine volts so you, in the kit you get this um battery holder for nine volt battery you have to uh by them separately and that plugs in 
See here? Plugged into there. Okay, it's a barrel connector. And we plug it in. All right. So let me put that there so you can see that. Right. So that's our connections done. When we start to run the program, I'll hold this so you can see it going left uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Right. So let's go over to our uh, to our instruction view and what we do same as normal open thony it's the old config from the last project right with well, an open our template we'll okay that right you can see that yep so we'll do a file save as i'm going to call mine um what should we call it dc let me go back dc motor yeah dc motor dot py don't forget the extension and we'll okay that oh just a just a, qu a quick thing a uh, quick mention um i've managed to to get a little uh, affiliate program with a company called uh, pi supply i'll put the link below the video so that if you are looking for anything pi uh, look at that link i get a little bit of commission not a lot but it's going to help me buy better equipment for my studio okay so let's start our programming we got our import rpi gpio as gpio and we're going to import time and now from adc device yeah i got that right this time <laughs> import star right now what we have to do now as normal is we have to define our pins that connected to the L923D chip. And that's the chip right next door uh, to where we plug in the motor. If you're doing this on uh, a different kit, you will have to go through the, uh, the chip and wire it up accordingly. All right, so motor pin equals eight right motor pin equals eight sorry motor pin one because remember we got two pins right motor pin two is equal to gpio 10. Got that. Then we need our ADC. Equals. ADC device. And remember. Zero times 48. If you don't know. Uh, how to do that. How to find out your number. 48 on the ADC device I've done it in a, a previous video and I can't remember the, which video it was but you need to go back and look how to um, find out your I2C device All right so let's come down we need our def setup and that's a uh, global ADC as we've done before 
Now, what we need to do is come under global and if brackets on ADC dot detect I2C capital I to capital C. Remember this command and again zero times 48 brackets off. Right. Colons. Uh, ADC equals ADS 7830. And again, the magic number is 48 times 48. But remember, we're using a potentiometer, so we need to use the, uh, the ADS 7830 chip. Right. Then we come to our else command, <coughs> which is, no, as you know, it is this. And let's uh, backspace. Now we need to, oh, bear with me. I'm just going to, because that's in the wrong place. Bear with me. Right click and we'll cut that. We don't need that at the moment. All right. So we're in our after uh, our else. We're at our else. Before, after it. Right after the exit. Come under the else. Global. P one global one moment please there's a reason this is doing this what have i forgot to do ah. i forgot to close off that second bracket Remember I told you how it highlights when there's something wrong? So, it's going to be P2. Then, Control C. Oh. We need our... For some reason, it's not pasted. Not to worry, not to worry. GPIO. Yeah, dot set mode. And we know we're using the physical pins, so it's dot board in capitals. Yeah. Then we need our GPIO dot setup. Brackets on. And Motor pin one and motor pin two out. So it's brackets on. Motor pin, comma, GPIO, dot out, capitals, brackets off. Right, but that should have been, spot the mistake, one. Remember we've got two motor pins. And it's GPIO dot set mode. Sorry, set up. Motor pin two, comma, GPIO dot out. Capitals. Right. <laughs> just making sure I know where I am let's do a couple of spaces just to keep it 
just to keep it separated now we need to do our um our pulse width modulation okay so p1 equals gpio sure it's dot pwm capitals brackets on motor pin one comma one thousand we've had this command before brackets off sets the uh the pwm frequency to one kilohertz yeah then we've got to do p2 dot sorry p1 dot start brackets zero brackets off all right just bring this down a bit so i can see where i am and then now exactly the same for uh p2 okay so it's uh p2 equals a gpio dot pwm capitals brackets on motor pin two comma 1000 brackets off okay again set the pwm on p2 to one kilohertz and then p1 dot start brackets zero brackets so everything everything is going to start at zero right so let's come down quite a long program this but i'm trying to get through it as quickly as i can but i don't want to go too quick because we need to learn right let's backspace right to the beginning what we're going to do now is do the map num function map the value from a range of mapping to another range so it is D E F def define map and the N U M is in capitals map num comma value comma from low comma from I comma two low comma two high brackets off colons gives us our auto indent right value comma from low comma from high comma too low comma too high notice the capitals the bumpy text right then return comma two high capital h dash too low Capital L, brackets off. Just checking, I've got it all right. Star, a brackets on. Value, dash from low. Brackets on space forward slash space brackets on from i dash from low brackets plus too low Right, notice the return. Can't even spell return. Glad I saw it. 
return too high, comma too low, brackets off, start value that, excuse me, from low, commas off, uh, brackets off, forward slash, brackets on from high, dash from low, brackets off, plus too low. Right. And that's that one. That's the map now I'm done. Now, uh, motor function. Okay. Given the direction and speed of the motor according to the input of the ADC value. So whichever way we turn the potentiometer. So it's a DEF. We're going to call this motor. Right. Brackets on. ADC. So we'll be using the ADC. Uh, brackets off. Colons. Return gives us the auto indent. Value. Equals ADC. Dash one two eight. So we can see here we're we're controlling or putting the input for the ADC value. Okay. So we now got some ifs we're gonna to have to put in. So if brackets on value. Greater than, so we're telling if it's greater than, brackets off, colons, auto indent, print, brackets on, ABS, brackets on, value, brackets off, star 100 forward slash 127 brackets off it's going to make the motor turn forward this code so all this code we're doing is going to make the motor turn forward right so p1 dot we're going to change the duty cycle Change duty cycle. Okay, capital C, capital D, capital C. And it's forward slash, uh, sorry, not forward slash, brackets on. <coughs> ABS, brackets on. Value, uh, brackets off. Star. One hundred dash one two seven brackets off. That's turned all our brackets off. Right. I'll try not to go too quick. Um, so P one, remember, turn forward. So what we've got to do with P two? Change duty cycle yeah what do you reckon yeah zero because we don't want it arguing with itself and going back the other way right uh, we do a quick print oh wouldn't be as bad if I could spell Exclama oh, exclamation, <laughs> exclamation, turn forward. You can put a couple of dots after that if you want. Okay, quotes, and brackets off. All right. So uh, that's that four lines of code. Enter. 
excuse me, backspace puts us under if. L, if, brackets, value, is less than, less than, okay, zero, brackets off, comma, auto indent, basically, it's going to reverse what we've really done, all right, so we've done the value, print, brackets on, <coughs> excuse me, let me just make sure I know where I am at, if, else if, print, ABS, Brackets on, value, brackets off, star, 100, four slash 128, brackets off, yeah, oh, I've noticed a spelling mistake, value, P1 dot change duty cycle yeah change duty cycle brackets on zero brackets off right now we're going to come down to the P2 Make sure I've got that right. Yep, yeah, zero. Yep, yeah. P2. Dot. Change. Duty. Cycle. Brackets on. ABS. Brackets on, value, brackets off, star, and 100, four slash 128, and brackets off. Right. So, exactly the opposite. To the other side then we're going to do a print command motor stop yeah quotes and quotes off brackets off how's that then yeah if right now let's come down backspace else colons enter auto indent p1 dot change duty cycle Zero, zero. All right. So if nothing else is happening, everything zero. P two dot change duty cycle again. So just need to change this. Bear with me. Backward. Hope you all notice that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And then we print. Brackets on. Yeah. Quotes. 
motor stop. Back it's off. Oh. Brackets off. All right. This is quite a quite a lengthy uh, program, but I don't want to rush it. We're on our last bit now, so we're on our uh, while true loop. While true, true is always true. Value equals a ADC dot. Analog read. Brackets on to a brackets off. Read the ADC value of channel zero. Okay, so that's our analog read. We've done that before. We've done that before. And then we're going to print. Brackets on. Quotes. Quotes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 say ADC a value colons remember our percent D yeah percent D still mess it up, don't I? Uh, percent D, then percent brackets on value brackets off brackets off. Yeah, so we've done the print motor brackets on value uh, brackets off. And then next we do a, a time dot sleep and we do it for 0 0.05 yeah so let's have a look at that time dot sleep then we got our cleanup our death destroy and our normal stuff right i'm going to do uh, a quick save on that box there and uh just i'm just going to go through make sure it looks okay it looks okay but until we run it, we don't know, do we? Until we run it, we don't know. Hold your breath. Let's start the program. Here we go. So I'll load this up. Let me uh, put views. So there's our fan. You can see the potentiometer we're using. So if I turn it to the left, the fan starts. I'll slow it down to zero, go the other way, and it goes the other way. So there you go. Potentiometer controlling a fan. Let me stop that. Okay. So there we go. Potentiometer controlling a DC motor. Long lesson not lesson a long uh, assignment i hope we learned something i certainly learned something uh about how to uh configure a dc motor so if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up please comment and please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye